Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another Oblivion video. And in this video, we're going to talk about whether Umbra or Goldbrand is a better sword. Now, to preface this, it is better actually to use both of them, like one for the soul trap purposes and normal damage and one for the fire damage. But if you look at them, which one actually is better than the other? And that takes into a couple factors. First of all is... We're assuming that you're only using the one sword, right? And in that case, Umbra's Soul Trap is completely useless because that's all Umbra does is Soul Trap, right? So we'll take that out of it. So what do we have left? We have Umbra, which can do an insane amount of damage. Normal, just blade damage when you repair it. And then you have Goldbrand, which, yeah, it kind of has a lower damage, but it's got a lot of fire damage. Now, in my opinion, I prefer Goldbrand over Umbra in combat. Okay, very rarely, now this is this way, this way, very rarely do you find enemies that have the fire resistance, right? Occasionally you'll fight a flame Atronach, occasionally you'll fight someone who casts a fire resistance spell, but overall, there's not really a lot of things that have fire resistance, or at least enough to be noticeable to where Goldbrand is going to be a weaker sword than Umbra, okay? Now, not only that, but Umbra's damage, you have to repair it a lot. Now, if you are maxed out in armor, this doesn't matter. Same with Goldbrand, right? So you have to balance between, do you want to use Soul Gems for Goldbrand? Because if you have Goldbrand, you probably have at least a Zura Star and a Skeleton Key by the time you actually get Goldbrand, right? And by the time you get Umbra, you can be level 1 and have Umbra. Now, if you're making a character that's not really high level, Umbra is actually, in my opinion, the better sword because it's easy to get and you'll be able to just use it, level up your armor skill. And I think I I, it, I kind of feel like lower level, you just run into more fire resistance. I don't know why. I don't know why that is, but it just feels like it is. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, it is best to use these swords together, okay? Where you use gold brand because Gold Brand does more damage, but then you use Umbra to do Soul Trap, and you Soul Trap and refill both Gold Brand and Umbra, and then boom, you don't have to use Soul Trap anymore. And that's the best way to do it. That's the best use of these blades, never to use just one or the other, because like I said, even though you don't run into it, Gold Brand, you're gonna have to fight enemies with fire resistance, or you're gonna run out of charges, and then you're gonna have to use magic on Soul Trap when you could have been using it, just not literally using it at all. You could be using it zero because you had Umbra. So that's that's it for this video, guys. That's all I wanted to say about this. A pretty interesting topic that I, I don't know, just want to talk about it. But I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode of Streamer Vlog of whatever I decide to make.